Welcome friends, viewers. Uh, this is Jeff from the Woods Trucker Channel. Today I'm coming to you from my backyard. Uh, I got a new piece of kit that I want to show you. Uh, while it's not going to be a new piece of gear for uh, most of the people who watch and subscribe to my channel, it is new to me and uh, I want to demonstrate the versatility plus play around with it myself. So uh, here we go. Be back at you in a moment. Okay, so the new piece of gear that I have that I want to show you today is the Vargo Hexagon Stainless Steel Wood Stove. Uh, while this is not a uh, anything that's new, I have been uh, looking at wood stoves for the, the better part of the last year and uh, weighing various options, and I finally decided to uh, that this is the one that I wanted. Uh, so. For those of you who aren't familiar with it, it comes out of the pouch uh, like this, and then you just simply unfold it and put it together uh, very quickly like this. Get my camera set up, and uh, it takes more than one hand to do this, but uh, there's a little notch and it clips in and then folds shut feed the wood into here uh, give it air feed more wood with your pot on top of it wood goes in there that's your burn chamber all right now there are a couple things that I've read on various and, and watched on YouTube some various uh, reviews said the one negative uh, point is this little tab right here so what I've done is I've solved that issue uh, following the advice of uh, several people uh, on their YouTube channels. I've solved the issue uh, by putting a pin uh, through, that, through that little slot and that prevents the stove from coming apart uh, at unforeseen moments. I'll show you how that works here in a moment. Alright, so some folks have... Uh, used a bobby pin to slide into that slot. Uh, I looked around my house forever. Uh, apparently my wife doesn't use bobby pins, so uh, what I did was I fashioned a uh, similar type of uh, device out of a, just a simple paper clip. And it slides right in there and uh, does the same, fulfills the same purpose as the bobby pin. So I expect that to work and uh, since both my wife and I are both teachers, we have uh, literally uh, hundreds and hundreds of paper clips laying around the house so a, a seemingly forever supply in case I lose this one which uh, this is Woods Trekker channel and we do things uh, uh, by trial and error here and I'm certain that I will lose that pin probably dozens of times over the course of the life of this stove so anyways problem solved uh, fairly quickly and definitely inexpensively so back at you in a moment Okay, so one other negative uh, comments on YouTube is the uh, lack of airflow underneath the stove. So I'm hopefully going to uh, be proactive and I've selected some small rocks which are also in abundance where I live uh, to fit underneath the legs of the stove as it sits and that will allow for better airflow it will provide almost an inch of airflow underneath the stove so I shouldn't have any problems in terms of airflow or uh, the stove coming apart uh, when weight is putting up put on top of it although I am NOT going to use a lot of weight today just two cups of water uh, you know I, I do want to you know prevent any future problems by following the advice of uh, some people that I trust on YouTube so um, let me get some wood and uh, get this thing fired up. Uh, just a note, it has been raining uh, here for about the last week and a half uh, virtually every day. So everything is very wet. So what I've done is I've gotten some kindling uh, from some scrap kindling I had laying around uh, in my garage rather than uh, taking wood off the trees. For the sake of brevity, uh, that's my plan. Okay, so I have the stove loaded up with a uh, with some kindling, and also with a piece of uh, cotton with some Vaseline impregnated all over it, 
and here goes nothing. Hopefully that uh, cotton will work, do its job, and get things going. Hopefully rather quickly, let me get move some of this uh, wood so that it catches. Should burn relatively freely. Um, this is very dry, tender. All right, it looks like it's going to uh, do do what I need it to do here. By the way, I'm using a tent stake uh, to close this door up. Uh, I have other purposes as well, but uh, get that closed up and see what happens. All right, it is staying lit, so that's a good sign. All right, YouTube, let me uh, tend to this fire and uh, I'll be back in a moment. All right, she is chugging along and doing quite well. Uh, fire's still lit. It's burning. It, it. I do have some wet wood, so I am getting a little bit of smoke here. But uh, the, the previous wood stove that I used was just one of those $5 Sterno stoves that you buy from Walmart. Uh, if you've seen uh, my videos from last winter, uh, I cooked on those multiple times and filmed. Uh, and and I, you know what? I really didn't have any problems. Uh, with that setup, however, I you know I wanted a real meant for wood uh, backpacking stove, and uh, I was watching a lot of uh, Shane Coffee's videos, and he he if you if you haven't checked out his channel, you need to. He is definitely the wood stove uh, master, and uh, watching his videos, he really got me interested in the idea of coming out and uh, using wood uh, to cook over in one of these small kind of micro wood stoves. Uh, which, you know, nowadays, well, you know, it's nice to cook over a, a uh, campfire. Nowadays, a lot of the trails you go on, they, they don't allow the use of, uh, you, you know, you can't use fires, uh, especially in a lot of the places where I go uh, day hiking. So I think uh, this being an actual stove, I think I'll be able to get around some of those regulations and uh, take it with me and, and just have fun with a real fire rather than a camp stove. Uh, but anyways, this is just uh, one extra tool in the arsenal of outdoor cookery. Uh, and so far, I I'm really happy. I didn't have any more problems lighting this stove than, uh, than I did with that Sterno uh, firebox stove. And, um, you know, so far it it's performing equally as well, if not better. Uh, in fact, I'm getting down to coals uh, much quicker than with that uh, Sterno box. But... Anyway, so far I'm happy, but I guess the true test is going to be when we put some uh, some uh, food on there and put some weight on these uh, on the the stove itself. So, with that said, uh, let's get that ready. Burning like a champ. Now, uh, you know you you will have to constantly feed a, a small wood stove like this. So that's inherent to pretty much all. Uh, wood stove designs uh, as far as I can tell you, you will have to feed it. That's just the nature of it. So uh, But it is definitely fun to play with so my fire is getting rip roaring here uh, Again so far uh, no problems with this little stove All right, so I'm attempting the viability of using this by itself uh, as a sort of mini grill and uh, I think what I'm going to have to do is fashion some sort of grill plate to put on top of this. Now, uh, one of the uh, reasons that I chose this design of wood stove was uh, inspired by W.A.W. Hiker on YouTube. Uh, he has used one of these to cook steaks on, and he has some, some really innovative uses of, of this particular wood stove. Uh, for example, he, he uses it like this. 
He uses it with his alcohol stove, which I hope to demonstrate uh, shortly after I'm done here with the wood. Uh, but he also uh, flips the stove over and uses the underside, which would be the, the, the plate that the wood sits on. He uses that as his grill top over a small fire. Uh, so the uh, WAW hiker demonstrated for me the versatility of this little stove. Uh, which is why you know and, and I'm I'm sure all, all these little wood stove style uh, cookers are, are all pretty versatile but I, I just like the idea of this uh, you know it takes took all of like three seconds to put together and uh, it's relatively lightweight of course I got the stainless steel one which is heavier than the titanium version which you can also get uh, but I, I you know I like the the durability factor of stainless steel and once I bought this, my intentions are to keep this for uh, pretty much ever. So, uh, not that the titanium one not last as well, but I like the idea of stainless steel. So let me tend to this uh, cooking, and I'll be back. So it appears that I should have waited till the uh, fire burnt down to coals to put my uh, cheddar bratwurst on, but uh, some people like them burnt. Uh, including my daughter, so maybe I will give it to her or maybe another plan. So far, I can say that this stove has worked pretty much flawlessly. Uh, it's everything that I expected and uh, and then some. So, thumbs up YouTube, thumbs up. Alright, well, this is Woods Trekker and uh, I got another uh, surprise in store for you with this. Uh, another, Not a surprise, but another use of this uh, this uh, Vargo stainless steel wood stove uh, but I have to finish up cooking my hot dog first and then I'll show you what I'm gonna do so another uh, option that I really liked about this stove was that I can use it with my uh, homemade alcohol burner and use the stove as a pot stand so without further ado Let's give that a go. All right. I am adding about one ounce of alcohol to this. Uh, this is the uh, stove that I made, the penny stove that I made uh, a while back on my YouTube channel. So let me go ahead and uh, continue to fill this up with some denatured alcohol I don't know how much I'm gonna need good bit I imagine I do have the fiberglass wicking material inside the stove so it, it, it soaks up pretty good Get my penny on board there. All right. Looks like we got just enough on top to prime it. So. Let me find my lighter. And here we go. All right, now one thing, uh, YouTube folks, you got to be very careful when using alcohol is that it burns uh, virtually. Uh, you cannot see the flame during the daytime. So it may be lit and you will not know it and you might go to grab for it and you will get a nasty burn. I know because, again, trial and error. So done that, been there, done that. So lesson learned and it is burning nice and hot now. All right, let me get this in here and uh, get some water on the stove as this thing starts to prime. All right. Again, I've mentioned that uh, I'm moving away from alcohol stoves, but I have them and I've used them and uh, I just wanted to demonstrate the versatility uh, of this little wood stove, so. Here we go, uh, waiting for it to prime. It's got a little ways to go. I'm not gonna keep you on here to watch the flame going even though I know that uh, 
us folks in my uh, YouTube community really enjoy watching uh, things like alcohol stoves burn and water boil and while that's a lot of fun uh, I don't I don't want to bore you so here we go hold on okay we do have the uh, uh, the stove is firing on all cylinders and I have my two cups of water in and uh, we are working towards a boil so uh, Nope, none yet. It does take about uh, eight minutes or so for uh, me to bring uh, water to a, two cups of water to a boil with this stove. So, again, I haven't used it, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, close the door and uh, make sure there's no wind coming in there. That seems to increase the uh, efficiency of these alcohol stoves. So. All right, with that said, uh, we're going to let this come to a boil and uh, go from there. All right, we got a uh, nice blue flame coming off of that penny stove. And uh, let me tell you, uh, if I would have uh, thought about this and actually uh, made the decision a long time ago, uh, it would have saved me a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, trial and error uh, with windscreens and uh, various setup systems because, uh, frankly, this is simple. This is like a no-brainer. You uh, throw your alcohol stove in your pot and uh, take your, throw your uh, Vargo Hexagon stainless steel stove or titanium stove in your pack. Uh, if you're really concerned about lightweight, I believe the titanium one uh, only weighs about four, four to five ounces, which is really light. Uh, throw that thing in your pack and uh, no, no hassles, no problems. Uh, pull out the... Uh, you know the alcohol burner throw it in there uh, put some alcohol in it and start it up that simple no uh, you know for me I had a system set up where I would clip a windshield together a windscreen together and uh, using uh, little brass uh, brass ties and uh, I was sort of I, I sort of had something in mind when I did that but uh, as with anything I, I'm living and learning and uh, right now I'm really impressed uh, by how this uh, little wood stove design works, uh, both in terms of using it for wood and using it for a base for a base slash windscreen for an alcohol stove. Now, I'm not going to be real picky on boil times. Uh, when I'm out camping, I'm usually, you know, I'm I'm not, um, you know, timing how long it takes to boil my water. Uh, I do like the uh, efficiency of a. Uh, a stove like my D-Power stove or like a pocket rocket style stove uh, but when I'm just out for fun and you know not really concerned about anything and just messing around uh, I do like a wood stove uh, it, it's fun fires fun for most people so it is for me too and uh, you know now, now the uh, option of the using alcohol burner with this I really enjoy that so uh, I suppose you could probably put an esbit burn uh, an esbit cube inside there as well. Uh, and what I do with this little atomic uh, style stove, uh, if I use if I'm going to use esbit with it, I just flip it over and use the back side of the uh, Pepsi can or the in this case the red Red Bull can stove. I use the back side of it uh, as my holder for my esbit burner and as a holder for my esbit cube rather and then I just throw an esbit cube on top of it uh, light it up and uh, good to go so this also can be a versatile option in terms of the three uh, fuels of choice uh, wood, esbit and alcohol all three can be used with this so right now I'm thinking uh, great piece of kit really glad that I've uh, decided to go with this alright back at you in a minute Okay, so we do have a boil. What I'm going to do is add some Idaho and potatoes. Uh, bring that up. I've never actually used these uh, in this situation, so we'll see how that works out. All right, so let's see. said two cups of water so that's what I have Let's see if we can get that to mix up alright YouTube 
come back when it's uh, all together. Okay, so this is what I've done. I've put my uh, my sausage into my potatoes, and uh, well, we'll see how that tastes. So let's see. And by the way, uh, the stove is strong enough and sturdy enough to hold uh, two cups of water with a Idaho and potato and meat inside. So let's see how this goes. All right, I'm not sure that I'm in the film, but here we go. Mmm. Good stuff. All right, YouTube. Thanks for coming along. Uh, like, share, subscribe, comment, all those good things. And for now, it's Woods Trekker, and I am out for sure. Signing out.